it's been really tough I found it personally mentally very challenging and um, been a lot of kind of low moments really through the year when we filmed with Kim Daybell as a student doctor back in 2018, he was combining work with training, his sights firmly set on Tokyo 2020. But then the world changed and Kim decided to stop table tennis to work as a full-time hospital doctor. It's been a baptism of fire. It has been crazy. Um, lots of new experiences, some more frightening than others, and it's been a big learning curve, but... You know, overall, I think I've I've come out of it stronger than than before, and uh, I think you know I've learned a lot. Definitely, just hoping that kind of we're we're coming to the back end of things with with the vaccination program rolling out. With hope that pressures on the NHS are beginning to ease, Kim has started training again, but admits it's not easy after such a long break. I'm so used to to having to be in a kind of a an elite level athlete and having played sort of two. Paralympics over the last sort of 10 years I've trained my whole life and this has been the longest kind of intervals between training that I've ever had and yeah no that's been been a bit of a challenge yeah start, I definitely feel more achy than I used to in the mornings. So you are still aiming for Tokyo? I am absolutely like it would been a target of mine for so well for the last four or five years just like everybody else really I would love love to compete there I think I feel like I deserve it after a, after the year that I've had but sport isn't doesn't work that way, and you have to earn earn your place. So I've still got to go and go and do that. And then, um, if I do sort of end up competing on that stage, I think I'll be able to to hold my head up high and, and enjoy the experience. Qualifying for the team may seem like a long shot after so much time away from the sport, but with his determination and focus already proven, you certainly can't discount his chances. Sally Hurst, BBC Look North.